Hey, defensive player of the game, chain for you today. What what went into uh, your effort and intensity guarding Steph? Oh, I mean, it's always fun to compete against Steph. You know, we we always uh, just talk about it after the games when we do guard, uh, uh, have play each other. Uh, but other than that, you know, just being prepared uh, and, and focused and, and not try to limit my mistakes on them. It's the best thing I can do. What do you have to do differently against him and against them as a system? That uh, I mean, we all, like, as a team, we got we to gotta communicate better. You know, we got to know when to switch, when not to switch. Um, but, like, a lot of, they do a lot of uh, action off the ball, which is what they, they grade at. And um, for us, we just got to stay focused and just try to communicate. 32, 16, and 16 tonight for Nicola. How did you see him dominate? Um, for him, man, it's, it's every night. You know, he, he's, he's patient when he's on that block. You know, try to see um, see each other, like, see his teammate get open. Like, I, I wanted him to shoot the one he threw to Christian uh, and went out of bounds. Like, but, uh, like, he just see the game, you know, at his own pace. And just for him to just continue to just do great uh, and just continue to, to like, be dominant for us in that post, you know, that's good. To sweep them in the regular season series, what type of effort did that take from you guys, the discipline to match up with them in that way? Uh, it took a lot of effort, I would say. You know, we like we could not give them, like, when they started off hot. Uh, so for us, to just to close the, that second quarter, 14-0 run, uh, that says a lot about us you know, as far as, like, defending. Uh, but, like, say you got to stay focused with them, limit your mistakes, uh, and try to just stick with the game plan and not try to do your own thing out there. When you guys, when you guys are healthy, when Jamal's out there, when you're out there, I mean, how, how are things so much better, so much more consistent for you? Um, it's just the flow. Uh, I feel like when we all healthy and we all out there just playing, you know, we have a different like demeanor and like flow to our game. You know, uh, we get out in transition. You know, everybody's like getting touches, making shots. You know, the ball's like a hot potato, is just moving around. Uh, and it's just good to just have them all back, you know, out here. You know, we don't want nobody sitting on the sideline for the second half like that. Uh, just continue to just, for us, we got to take care of our bodies and be ready for it. How were you guys able to shut down Clay? I mean, he had such a great first half and he didn't do anything after that. Uh, I mean, was staying close as possible, try to limit his touches um, and, like, contest everything uh, pretty much. Uh, I feel like the second half he maybe had one or two attempts. Uh, so, like, just limit his touches. Uh, he know he, he, had a, he had it going the first half uh, and we just wanted to limit the touches. Coach Malone mentioned how you guys flipped a switch and went into attack mode and became the aggressor after letting them kind of start off dictating some of that. What, when was that switch? Right before halftime with that big run? Uh, I, would, I would say, yeah, uh, right before halftime, that 14 0 run to close it, to tie the game up at halftime. And then just knowing uh, coming into halftime, what we got to do when we come out of halftime. Uh, just we wanted to be aggressive, uh, which we did. Uh, rebound the ball, get out in transition, what we, what we best at, and just try to like. Uh, limit uh, Clay and, and Steph like they touch us and like let everybody else try to make some plays. You said recently that you think Nicola defensively is best at sort of playing up on screens and that sort of thing. Everyone sort of talks about two guys having chemistry like in a pick and roll offensively. No. What does it take to sort of develop a chemistry in terms of guarding screens with him and in terms of um, how you guys have to navigate? Just knowing where he's going to be. Uh, I feel like uh, with Yoke, like when I hit in the pick and roll with him defensively wise, I know he's going to be up. Uh, I know he has great hands, just like I have great hands. Uh, he's going to try to go for the steal as well. So like, just us two just being in that um, in that action, you know, it's you no know, helps me out a lot, and it helps him like just to get back to his man and help me just stay close as possible to my man. You know, so uh, and that's our game plan, like him being up, and it's, it's good for our team for for him to be up. I feel like he's more active. In, uh, in that aspect. You, you guys don't get to practice a ton. How do you sort of refine that, the two of you? Is it sort of just in-game stuff, like, uh, like trying to figure out how to get better at it? Yeah, it's just learn on the go. You yeah. know, for us, um, and it's just we, we we have that chemistry. We know where each other is going to be. I know where he's going to be. He know I'm going to be as close as possible to my man as far as defensive-wise. And uh, we just you know, I feel like we just, we just know, I would say. And, and is there anything that you've seen him sort of get better at in that regard, whether it's just like playing certain angles when he's uh, getting up on guys or with his hands? Or I would say his hands have gotten better, like just getting that pocket pass, uh, sometimes that steal. Uh, he re plays faster than I can sometimes because he see behind me. Um, but just knowing he like, like he have great deflection of hands, like he's going to get steals there. Uh, and 
came in really messing around the ball with uh, him coming off that screen. I have to fact check because Nicole Jokic said post game to ESPN that no one got him a birthday present. And I know there are a lot of birthdays in the month of February. Yours is, <laughs> Jamal's is, Nicola's is. So is it just like a group gift exchange that needs to happen or what? Well, the best gift we can get, keep happy birthday. Keep going. <laughs> the gift that keeps giving. But like, yeah, oh, we'll get him a birthday. We'll get him a, maybe cake smash in his face. So happy birthday, Maul. Does that mean that you have to get one smashed in your yeah, face? Yeah, I know, too? right? And Yoke. So we both got to get one. It was Yoke so. that said it, not Jamal. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, we both, we all going to get a gift okay. for us three. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.